Discovery video number seven. We're at uh, Philadelphia Park. What well, they call it, Parks Racing now. 7,500 claimer. Nine winners of three lifetime. Conditional claimer. In races like that, where you see claiming, and then some numbers and letters after those conditional claimers, good races uh, to find overlays and value odds of winners. The track is sloppy, which uh, basically is uh, the whole uh, title of this video, is uh, in regards to wet track pedigree on a sloppy track, underrated or practically not used by people, especially those who have not seen any of my hundreds of my videos in the past. But uh, the track is sloppy. Number six is Dancing with Lions, 12 to 1 morning line. Our true odds here on the report, 4.5 to 1, 4.5 to 1, which is 9 to 2. And the horse is around 10 to 1 near post time. Now, uh, the track is sloppy, like I said. In every race on our reports, only one horse will get the blue W. What that means is that horse has the best pedigree in the field of any horse in the field to handle a wet track. Sloppy, muddy, whatever. Overlooked by the betting public or not even thought of or not even used is uh, wet track pedigree. Uh, also, uh, well, obviously, a 10 to 1 value odds horse would be a play in here. But that's just one thing to like about the horse is that uh, Dancing with Lions has got the best wet track pedigree. But he's, uh, he's also got some other stuff going on. Each one of these purple boxes is uh, one of the 36 proven winning overlay angles from the uh, the ebook there on the Horse Racing Digest page. Click on that, you can read them all in detail. But uh, you see here, value odds icon with final time. That's one of the big ones. Uh, number 10. There are five certain other icons that when listed on a value odds horse have proven to be very potent. You got pace, final time, par, lay pace, total pace. Okay, so this horse has got the final time with, uh, so that's a, that's a potent angle there. Okay. Uh, also... Okay, so that's the, another reason to like this horse. Also, the horse has got the best, the highest turn time rating in the field. Very important, especially in six furlong races. Okay, um, that is actually part of the new book in which we have a report. The uh, Winning overlay situations A through Z. Okay. Uh, it's not only a book, but it also has. Ac we also have access for the subscribers to the reports. And what that looks like is this for every track every day. We get down here to race number 10, and I've highlighted Dancing with the Lions. Um, He's got uh, angle Q, angle S, and angle X. That's pretty good when they get three angles. But especially that combination of angle S and angle X, okay, um, you can actually read about those here on the Horse Racing Digest page right here in the middle. I give you angle S, X, and N. You can read about those in detail. Um, the ebook itself is for subscribers only but I do give you three of them free of the A through Z and the S and the X are pretty strong okay so uh, our horse here has got both of those angle S and X he, and once again when you see a horse that has both of those that's an angle I like a lot that combination. And oh, the long shot that finished second was the four. 
is the next source listed here on the A through Z report. Okay, it just happened to be that way. All right, so I, I've shown you a lot of reasons uh, that this horse could return to form. It went uh, shipped from Philly over to Atlantic City and took a turf run in which, uh, I keep saying he, but it's actually she. She finished fifth in an 11-horse field, which is not too bad. Uh, and I got the turf to dirt move here. You know, it's just yet another thing going on. It's, you know, positive winning situations for overlays, tur turf to dirt move. So, I think at 10 to 1, we got a lot of, a lot of reasons to take some action on Dancing with Lions. And uh, we've got uh, proven strategies that we use uh, on all my videos. First bet would be like the win bet. You're going to go 10 bucks to win. Always get the win bet down first. Some people only play to win. That's fine. Not a problem with that. My next bet that I do is uh, I wheel the exacta with all. So I'm going to have a 6 all exacta. And then I have a strategy for the trifecta, and it goes as follows. The six uh, on top, all by itself, in the trifecta, in the first position. Then in the second position, I'm going to go eight, two, four, seven. That's the rest of the horses in group A and the top horse in group B. And then I'm going all for third. Ten cent super, all for fourth. Those are our strategies. That's how I play it all the time when I'm when I find a horse like this that's going off at good odds and overlay and uh, has a lot of purple boxes and all the, all the things I discussed about the angles and the pedigree on a wet track. You'd be surprised uh, of how many of these blue W horses win on a wet track. Um, pleasantly surprised years ago when I first decided to put it on the reports I, I think it's been maybe three or four years around that time that I put the uh, that I started analyzing that and adding it to the reports but it's been incredible it could be longer than that actually uh, but it's been incredible how many of these blue W horses because there's only one blue W horse in every race so basically uh, if any of our reports that you that you look at uh, if your track turns up sloppy, you're covered because you're going to have the horse with the blue W and you're also going to get horses listed like that have a good record on the wet track. You'll see the wet icon. So with our reports, you're covered. OK, um, if you should happen to, you know, go to the track and find out it's sloppy. Well, our reports give you plenty of information that you can make a good betting decision, obviously, like I've shown you here with Dancing with Lions. And uh, let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, here's the deal. She went to wire to wire. She's a mutter. Lionheart is the sire. Metal Lake on the other side. That's definitely mud. Mutter over mutter. She loved it out there. Final odds are on 9 to 1. 2040 in the Wind Mutual. 158.60 exacta try paid well. Here's all the stuff here. Uh, Ten dollar win bet returns 102. Uh, exacta like I said was 158.60. My strategies like I showed you how I played the trifecta, we cashed out on that one for a dollar returned 1,297.80. And ten cents on the super the ten cent paid. Uh, that's pretty good for a ten cent payout. 558.78 on my strategy. Total return in the get out race on a Tuesday at uh, Parks, Philly, whatever you want to call it. 2,117.18. The great thing about horse racing is you never know when stuff, situations are going to show up. I mean, I love it. It's one of the reasons why I love it to challenge so much is because every race is like a different story. So, whatever happened in the last race or the previous race, forget about it. It's the last race is done. The next race is a whole different story. That's one of the best things about this game. And uh, opportunities are always there. 
but also I want to remind you money management is very important and I, I'm going to scroll down here uh, discovery video number one I'm going to make a whole page for these discovery videos because there's getting to be a, a bunch of them in a hurry but uh, discovery video number one talks about um, how to manage your money bankroll management it, it's just as important as anything else in this game because you could have the best information and, and be the best handicapper in the world but if you're not managing your money you you're 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 just you're like uh walking into the wind okay to put it politely it, it's you know you're making it hard on yourself if you don't if you don't consciously manage your bankroll and your money if you just you know if you don't have a plan for how much money you're betting on every race then everything else you're doing you you're you're spinning your wheels okay all this hard work that you're putting in is for not if you don't manage your money and uh, a lot of players just can't accept this concept but those that have are doing extremely well I mean I get emails all the time so I mean I know what's going on out there um, I know the people who are managing their bankrolls and who don't um, and uh, I just wanted to say that in closing here uh, so please these new discovery videos I'm trying to bring you uh, uh, more information on how to uh, properly use these reports and understand them uh, so that uh, you know when you when you're sitting there with a report and a race in front of you you've got plenty of examples on what to do and uh, on the previous video series handicapping video there's 424 if you follow that laptop computer from the horse racing digest page that series was uh, 424 videos so I mean you got a lot of tools uh, and then there's already seven in the discovery series and every single one of these are excellent handicapping uh, videos that you will learn um, lesson here best wet track pedigree on a sloppy track most players either ignore it, don't know it exists, don't really know where to find it, don't think it's don't think it's potent, blah 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 blah. There's a reason why 90% of the horse players make 100% of the take home 100% of the um, pool money or just about. I mean, there's a small group of maybe 80 to 90% that's scooping up all the pool money. And these are players that do the things that I mention in these videos and in these articles that I write. All right. So if you want your if you want your share of the pool money, it's, it's actually not hard. It's simple. We keep things simple. I believe in simple. A lot of players like to complicate things, or they believe the answer is in a complicated thing, a situation. It's not. Okay. The holy grail does not exist in a complicated strategy or idea. I have spent a great portion of my life figuring that out through decades of analysis and testing. The best way is simple strategy. Simple works. And if you use, as you see in my videos, everything's very methodical. Everything is very simple. Nothing ever changes, although there are different factors for different types of races, obviously. But the basic principle is we hunt overlays. Okay, that's at the top of the list of everything. Is we want a horse at ten to one or nine to one. That's our true odds are nine to two or four to one. Yeah, that's that. Or or and may, hopefully they go off twenty to one, thirty to one, forty to one. We've had plenty of those. All right, yeah, higher the odds the better. Uh, but then underneath, I come up with, you know, the reasons that maybe I can be confident in that horse. Like, that's basically what I show on the videos, and um, they'll just. You know, if you're at the sloppy track or a muddy track, well, you gotta you gotta check out those blue W horses. It's been amazing. It's been just absolutely amazing how many of those win. Uh, so that's the lesson for today. Thanks for viewing. Good luck with all your wagers.